Hey guys, MooneyB123 here with you today. This video today is going to be a very specific video. Um, this is for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is the i317, the AT&T version. So this is a very, very specific video today, only for the i317. This is not for any other Android smartphone, only for this one. So what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to show you how to um, update your bootloader if you need to do that. Now this is this is because of a problem with the newest ROM that's come out recently, um, where we're using the the uh, new KitKat TouchWiz that that was taken from the International uh, Galaxy Note 2, the N7105, and using that ROM on our phones has caused some Wi-Fi issues for some users. And so the recommendation is to update uh, your bootloader. Um, it uh, from what I understand, it takes some files and it puts them in different places with, with different bootloaders and it makes it to where um, they're not able to be found and it causes issues like this with your Wi-Fi. So I'm going to show you how to update that if you need to. And that's kind of a key thing here is if you need to. So I've got two i317s right here today. And this is one way to see which bootloader you're on is if your phone is rooted, you can download Android uh, Termulate. Uh, excuse me, Android Terminal, and if you'll type in this command, git prop, that'll focus, git prop ro.bootloader, and it'll tell you which bootloader you're on. This one, I, I bought it off eBay, when I got it, it, are, it had already been updated to the official, the newest, latest official update from, uh, from AT&T. And you can see here, it's uh, the the last three uh, digits here is M MK6. Uh, last three characters there is MK6. So that tells me that this is on the newest bootloader. I cannot uh, go back with this one. Okay, so that's on that one. This is mine, and I'm a hard time getting that. Okay, you can see mine. After I typed in that command, git prop ro.bootloader, the last four characters there are MA4. So this is actually um, from three bootloaders ago. MK6 is the newest one. MJ4 is the one just before that. And then mine is on MA4, which is the one before that. So the one we want to get to is not to this one, to MK6, because um, I'll show you why we don't want this bootloader in a second. We want the one that's between the two phones that I have here. We want the MJ4. And so I'm going to have you show you how to update uh, to that. Okay, so let me boot back into, um, into download mode on both of these phones real quick. So the way I do that is power off. power off and then to get into download mode I'm gonna push volume down home and power hold all three of those push volume up let me do that on this other one real quick volume down home and power okay so this is the best way to tell which if you need to update your bootloader okay on this one Again, this is the one I showed you was on MK6, and it's kind of hard to see down here, it's in gray letters, but it says Knox Warranty Void Zero. In other words, the, the, void, the warranty is not void on this one, but what, what I know from this is that I'm already on the MK6 bootloader because of that little bit right there. So that's what you need to do is go into download mode and see if you have that. If you have this, you're already on MK6 and you can't update. So that's the first thing you need to check to see whether you need to update your bootloaders to check that and see if that's there, you're on MK6, you can't change it. You can't go backwards and there's nothing newer to update to. So go into download mode and check that. So on this one, I'm not really going to be able to do anything with. I just wanted to show you um, that that's what's going on with this one. This one, 
does not have anything below there about that Knox warranty being void. This is on, like I showed you with that Android uh, terminal, that I'm on an older bootloader with this phone. I'm on the MA4. So it's what I want to do is update this one to MJ4. Okay, so let me show you on the computer what we need to download, and I'm going to try to make this a real quick video here. You need, first of all, if I can find it here, you need the Odin flashing program. So I'll have a link to this, Odin version 3.07, you can download, uh, click, excuse me on the word here. And then the other thing you're going to need to download is the actual bootloader. And I'll have a link to this, and we'll scroll down here where it says miscellaneous, here's the new 4.3 bootloader. And whenever he said this, this was the new bootloader, but uh, it's the MJ4 he's talking about here. This was before the MK6 bootloader came out. So 4.3 sboot.bin, param.bin, uh, and tz.image. So you want to click on that, and you want to download that file. Just a real small file, 1.15 megabytes. Okay. So you're going to have the Odin flashing program, and you're going to have this 4.3 param sboot.tz.zip. Okay. So I'm going to take that Odin 3. I'm going to put that that out on my desktop, okay, and I'm going to extract that file, or that folder out, and I've already done that, that's right here, and then this is a zipped file, I want to unzip this, I want to take this .tar out of there, and just bring it out of that folder and extract it out, and I've already done that, and it is right here. Okay, now, <clears throat> my phone is already in download mode. So I don't have to do anything there. Again, we push volume down, home, and then power. Push the volume up and it brings us right here. So over on my computer, I'm gonna open up Odin 3. Say yes. Okay, now I wanna plug in, plug this in now that the Odin program is open on my computer. And you can see here, so when it's reading my phone on the port, I'm going to go to PDA, and I'm going to find that 4.3 param, sboot.tz.tar, open that up, I'm going to flash that, and that's going to update me to, uh, to an intermediate bootloader, it's going to update me to MJ4, okay? So that's where I want to be, and uh, so if you're having problems with the Wi-Fi, that's, that's what I'm going to suggest for you to do is to update your bootloader and see if that can get you where you need to be on that. Okay? So that should have me at the MJ4. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. I'll get in my Android terminal and we'll just make sure that it did update us to that newer bootloader. Okay? So I'm just opening up the Android terminal here. Check git prop space ro.bootloader and there you go. See, right in between there, i317 UCU BMJ4. Okay, so that's the bootloader that I'm on now. I updated. This is the second to the newest one. Again, this one with that not with that Knox warranty void deal. Proves to me that this is on MK6. I don't really want MK6. If you're there, it's fine. But if I can avoid getting that little line right there, I want to. So MJ4 is going to be the best one if you're having problems with your Wi-Fi. Again, this is only for the i317. Update to this intermediate bootloader, the MJ4. Thanks for watching today.